Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss chapter 23 from grade 10 science that is the universe. Before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this please like and do share these videos among your friends and don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. Universe Universe is a vast space which contains everything that exists. The earth, moon, planets, stars, etc. Whatever we see around us are in the universe. The sun is one of the stars of our Milky Way galaxy. There are millions of galaxies in the universe like the Milky Way galaxy. Some units to measure the distance in the universe. One body is very far from another body in the universe, therefore the distance between them cannot be measured in kilometer or miles. The bigger units like the light year, astronomical unit, parsec, etc. are used. Astronomical unit The distance between Sun and Earth is called astronomical unit and its value is 15 crore kilometer. Light year The distance traveled by light in one year through vacuum is called light year. One light year equals to one year into velocity of light. That is one year equals 365 days and velocity of light is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So we get 9.46 into 10 to the power 12 kilometer or 9.46 into 10 to the power 15 meter. Parsec. The distance which is equal to 3.26 light year is called parsec. 1 parsec equals to 3.26 light year. Proxima Century it is the second nearest star from our solar system which is 4.3 light year away. Sirius is 8.6 light year away which is the brightest star and the Vega is 25.5 light year away. Solar System The family of sun, including eight planets, their satellites, asteroids, comets, meteors, etc. revolving around the sun is called solar system. The sun is the main body of solar system around which all members revolve and the diameter of solar system is 10.5 light year. Cosmic year. The sun takes 2.5 into 10 to the power 8 years to revolve around the galactic center and this time is called cosmic year. Sun. The sun lies in the middle of our solar system and it keeps all the family members around it due to the huge gravity. Its mass is 740 times greater than that of the sum of the masses of all planets. It is a medium sized star. It seems bigger than other stars because it is nearer from the Earth. It is about 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter away from the Earth and the average density of sun is 1.5 times more than that of water. It covers around 99% of the total mass of solar system and the average temperature of sun is 1000 degree Fahrenheit and the temperature of its cores is 3 crore 50 lakh degree Fahrenheit. Solar wind It is a stream of gaseous charged ion plasma from the upper atmosphere of the sun. Sun consists of three layers, they are protosphere, chromosphere and the corona. Protosphere it is the central hottest layer and chromosphere is the middle layer. This layer can be seen during the total solar eclipse only and the, and the corona is the outermost layer. Planets Planets are those heavenly bodies that revolve around the sun in their own elliptical orbit. There are eight planets in solar system. Planets do not produce their own light. Some planets seem bright due to the reflection of sunlight. The planets are very small in comparison to the stars. The size, temperature, distance, the, the size, temperature, distance from the sun, revolution time and rotation time of planet differs from planet to planet. 
On the basis of distance from the sun, planets are categorized into two types. They are terrestrial planets, which are also known as inner planets, and Jovian planets, which are also known as the outer planets. Those planets which lie inside the belt of asteroid are called inner planets. The four nearest planets to the sun, that is Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are known as terrestrial planets. Some of the features of terrestrial planets are they have thin crust, their mantle is rich in iron, and they have thin atmosphere, and their core is made up of molten metals. There are few natural satellites or no satellites. Jovian planets. The four farthest planets from the Sun, that is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, are called Jovian planets. Those planets which lie outside the belt of asteroids are simply known as the Jovian planets or outer planets. And the feature, common features of these planets are they are made up of gases, they have large number of natural satellites, and they have ring system around them. Now one by one we are going to discuss the eight planets in our solar system and here in one number comes Mercury. It is the smallest and closest planet to the sun. It completes one revolution in 87.9 days and one rotation in 58.65 days. It has no natural satellite as well as atmosphere. Venus. Venus it is the hottest and brightest planet of our solar system. It is also known as the morning and evening star. It is also called twin planet or sister planet of Earth. It comes this one revolution on 225 days and one rotation in 243 days. It has no satellites and its atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide, oxygen and water vapor. Earth. It is also called home planet and it is a living planet because it has plenty of water, sweet essential gases and suitable temperature. It completes one revolution in 365.25 days and one rotation in 23 hours 56 minutes. Its atmosphere is rich in nitrogen and oxygen which also contain carbon dioxide, inert gases and water vapor. It has one natural satellite that is moon. Mars. It is called red planet because of its red appearance due to presence of mineral rock called limonite. It completes one revolution in 687 days and one rotation in 24 hours 37 minutes. It has thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, inert gases and a small amount of oxygen. It has big craters and volcanoes. It has two natural satellites, they are Phobos and Deimos. Jupiter. It is the largest planet, also known as the king of planets. It completes one revolution in 12 years and one rotation in 9 hours 55 minutes. Its atmosphere contains hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia and water vapor. It has 67 natural satellites, out of which Ganymede is the largest. Saturn it is the second largest planet and is the most beautiful planet and also called floating planet. It is also called planet with ring. It completes one revolution in 30 years and one rotation in 10 hours 40 minutes. Its atmosphere contains methane, ammonia, hydrogen and helium. It has 62 natural satellites out of which Titan is largest. Uranus it is the third largest and second farthest planet. It completes one revolution in 84 years and one rotation in 17 hours, 15 minutes and 24 seconds. It appears bluish green in color and its atmosphere contains methane, hydrogen, helium, ammonia and water vapor. It has 27 natural satellites among which Titania is largest. Neptune It is the farthest and coldest planet and its atmosphere mainly contain methane gas. It completes one revolution in 164 years and one rotation in 16 hours, 6 minutes and 36 seconds. And it has 14 natural satellites among which Triton is largest. So here, you, so here is one question. Why Pluto is not considered as a planet? Pluto is not considered as a planet because of following reasons. 
first size of pluto is very small comparatively and its orbit is coincided with the orbit of neptune orbit of pluto does not lie on same plane so that is the reason pluto it is not considered as a planet moon moon is the natural satellite of earth and the average the distance between the earth and moon is about 384400 km it has lunar mountains and craters and it does not contain atmosphere its gravity is 6 times less than that of the earth sidereal month the moon completes one revolution around the earth in 27.5 days and this period is called sidereal month synodic month the period from one full moon to another full moon or one new moon to another new moon is called uh, is about 29.5 days which is called uh, synodic month satellite those have any body that revolve around the planet are called satellites and there are two types of satellites they are natural satellite and artificial satellite so here is one question why are artificial satellite launched in space so sa artificial satellites which are, uh, are launched in space because of following reasons for telecommunication like radio television broadcast long distance telephone calls fax etc for weather forecasting and for making spacecraft for gathering information about other heavenly bodies for spying military purpose for solving natural resources etc asteroids in between the orbit of mars and jupiter there are small bodies which move around the sun and these small bodies are called asteroids The irregular pieces of rocks revolving around the sun between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter are called asteroids. They are also called baby or tiny planets. Most of the asteroids they have irregular shape while the bigger asteroids have spherical shape. They are composed of rocky and metallic substances. Vesta, Hermes, Eros, Ceres, Juno, etc. are some of the example of asteroids. Ceres it is the biggest asteroid. Scientists do not have clear concept about the origin of asteroids and it is believed that the asteroids are the remains of former planets. Comet Comets are heavenly bodies revolving around the sun in a very long elliptical orbit and they are collection of gases, dust and ice. A comet generally has three parts, they are nucleus, coma and tail. When they come closer to the sun, the ice and the gaseous particles get evaporated due to heating of the sun and get thrown into the space in opposite direction of sun forming a tail. As the comet moves towards the sun, the tail grows bigger whereas when it goes away, the tail becomes shorter. The nucleus is the central part which is composed of rock particles trapped inside the frozen mass. When the comet is far away from the sun it appears only a nucleus. But when it approaches the sun it outer frozen mass melts and turns into vapor. The evaporating layer forms a hazy cloud called coma. The nucleus and coma is collectively called head of comet. When the comet approaches the sun the high energy solar radiation pushes the vapor and dust of the comet to form a long tail and the tail is pointing away from the sun due to the solar wind the solar wind is formed from charged atomic particles produced from the sun the tail of some comets cover the distance of 160 million km they can be seen with naked eyes due to long tails when they approach the sun comets do not have their own light they become visible due to reflection of sunlight so they are also called the tail star so here is one question a comet is actually not a star 
Comet is not actually a star because of following reasons. Comet revolves around the sun in an elliptical orbit, whereas the star does not revolve around the sun. Comet is made of dust particles and cloudy ice, whereas star is a burning and twinkling object made of hydrogen and helium. So here is another question. Some comets disappear forever. Give reasons. Some comets disappear forever because of following reasons. Sometimes when comet approaches the sun, it gets destroyed by the complete vaporization or burning. Some comet is struck with planets and other heavenly bodies break into pieces and disappear forever. Some of the famous comets, their date of first appearance and revolution period is tabulated below. Halley's Comet, so it was first seen in 240 BC and it uh, its uh, revolution period is 76 years. Temple Turtle, it was first seen in 1366 AD and its revolution period is 33 years. Inke, it was seen in 1787 AD and its revolution period is 3.3 years. Swansman Wasman, this comet it was seen in 1927 AD and its revolution period is 15 years. Bennett, so it was first seen in 1969 AD and its revolution period is 1678 years. Shoemaker Levy, it was first seen in 1993 AD and its revolution period is unknown because it was collided with Jupiter in 1994. Meteor, shooting star or falling star. Meteor, it is a piece of rock in outer space that travels very fast and burns with a bright light as it enters the Earth atmosphere. Meteor shower. Sometimes numerous meteors fall towards the Earth atmosphere, which is seen as a streaks of light coming towards Earth atmosphere, and this process is called meteor shower. So here is one question. How does a meteor become visible? When a meteor enters into the Earth atmosphere with a high speed, a lot of heat is produced due to the air resistance. And this heat burns the meteor which is seen in the form of a streak of light shooting down in the sky. And in this way, meteors become visible. Meteorite it is a meteor in the space which hears the Earth's surface, or we can say a meteor which does not burn completely on entering Earth atmosphere and lands on the Earth is called meteorite. There are three types of meteorite: they are stony, irony, and stony irony, which is also known as the mix. Stony meteorite contain more amount of silica and less quantity of iron and magnesium, whereas irony meteorite they contain more amount of iron and negligible quantity of silica. Most of the meteorite that fall on the Earth's surface are of uh, irony meteorite. Stony irony meteorite they contain both the silica and iron in equal quantity. Meteorites found so far ranges from 100 gram to 20,000 kg. Especially meteors is large, no especially meteors in large number fall near the North and South Poles. Meteors they are generally made of iron, magnesium, and uh, silicon. Difference between meteor and meteorite. Meteor it is a piece of rock in outer space that travels very fast and burns with a bright light as it enters the Earth atmosphere. Whereas meteorite, it is a meteor which does not burn completely on entering Earth atmosphere and lands on the Earth. Meteor, they burn completely in the atmosphere. Meteorite, they does not burn completely in the atmosphere. Meteor, it does not affect life and property on the Earth. Whereas meteorite, it affects life and property on Earth as it lands on the Earth. Galaxy. It is an extremely large mass of star. Those particles scatter from stars and gaseous matters in the sky. Millions of stars are present in galaxies. On the basis of shape, there are three types of galaxies. They are spiral galaxy, elliptical galaxy, 
and irregular galaxy. A spiral galaxy. It consists of a bright disk at the central region. A spiral galaxy is seen as a spinning spindle with winding arms all around its center. The winding arms rotate around the center. About 70% of the galaxy are spiral. A great amount of dust particles and gaseous clouds are seen in the galaxy. Example of a spiral galaxy are Andromeda, which is also the nearest galaxy from our Milky Way galaxy, and the next one is Milky Way galaxy. Elliptical galaxy. Elliptical galaxies are shaped as a sphere or a flat ellipse. The center is bulge. A bright light is emitted from the center of galaxy. Example: M87, Mafi 1, etc. Irregular galaxy. Irregular galaxies do not have a regular shape. They have bright star at the center part. Example: Canis Major Drop. According to scientists, galaxies are formed from the innermost large gaseous mass and dust particles, and the distance of galaxy can be estimated by studying infrared rays, radio waves, ultraviolet rays, and X-rays coming from them. Milky Way Galaxy. It is our home galaxy, and it contains about 100 billion stars in it. It is spiral in shape. And it is disc like with diameter of 1 lakh light year. The sun is located about 30,000 light years away from the galactic center and revolves around the Milky Way galaxy at a speed of around 250 km per second. The time needed to revolve around the galaxy is about 200 to 250 million years, and this duration is called cosmic year. Constellations The group of stars having fixed shape in the sky. Is called constellation, and there are 88 constellations among which 12 are used as zodiac signs. Difference between star, galaxy, and constellation. Galaxy it is collection of billion of stars, whereas constellation it is a collection of only few stars. Galaxy it does not form a definite pattern, whereas constellation they form a definite pattern, and there are about 100 billion galaxies in the universe, whereas Constellation, there are about 88 constellations. Some of few constellations are described below. Ursa Major Great Bear of the Rishi. It is called Great Bear as its pattern resembles bear and it is also called of the Rishi because it has seven stars. It can be seen in the northern sky in the month of Boisak and Jesha at the clear night. Ursa Minor Little Bear Logus of the Rishi. It resembles that the Ursa Major. It resembles that of Ursa Major and has the pattern of beer. The stars are close to each other, and in the clear night, Ursa Minor is visible in the month of July in the northern part of the sky. Orion. The pattern resembles Hunter. It has seven stars and it is seen in the sky in the month of Pus, March, January, in the winter season. Jodai. Among 88 constellations, 12 constellations that can be seen in the path of sun are called zodiac. Example, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Superstition related to zodiac. There are only 12 zodiac, but the number of people is billions. Thus, there is no any scientific reason to forecast the future of people by studying the zodiac on the basis of name of the people. There are many examples of, of unsuccessful conjugal life of the people which have matched according to Jodak. In our society, it is the customary of wearing rings, but there is no any uh, scientific reason to prove that these rings bring good fortune to the people who wear them on the basis of their Jodak. In our society, seeing a good omen according to the Jodak is in practice. However, there is no any scientific reason to see good omen of the people according to the Jodai. Also, it is a fast moving star that radiates radio frequency. Fireball, it is extremely large and bright meteor sound. Big Bang Theory It is believed that the universe was created in a big explosion called Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory explains the formation of heavenly bodies, the galaxies, star, planets, etc. 
According to this theory, all the matters of the universe was originally concentrated in a vast lump called, called primeval atom, which was 100 light years wide. This highly dense and extremely hot mass exploded with a big bang about 15 billion years ago and the matter started flying all directions throughout the space forming galaxies, planets, satellites and other heavenly bodies. Now we are nearly 15 billion years after the big bang explosion and it is believed that the universe is expanding continuously and it will continue in the future as well. By this we have completed notes of this uh, uh, unit universe i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video please uh, share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe hope to get your valuable suggestions regarding this video in comment section see you on next video thank you